All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, a 2017 survey from Morgan Stanley reveals that more and more investors, about 75%, want to invest sustainably, yet at the same time, they also believe that by doing so, they'll have to trade off the financial returns in the honor of impact. Now, however, to add some confusion to this mix, 71% of investors in the same survey agree that sustainable investing can lead to higher profitability. So which one is it? Is impact investing profitable or does it always come at a price? Today, we want to um, deep dive into impact investment and its role in nation building. That's the conversation for today. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038466. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. I think this terminology is a bit confusing for some people, but let me let me try to understand if you understand where we are going. <laughs> Chinelo, let me come to you. What's your what what's your understanding of impact investments? I want to bring in our guest. Okay, I mean, there are two words, right? Impact and investing. We know what impact is to make a difference, to touch something. I hope I'm right. To yeah. do something, right? <laughs> and investing means you're putting in something. So, I mean, impact investing means. <laughs> Doing something to bring about positive change in um, socially, in every way. <laughs> okay. 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 Let me hear your thoughts. How are you, Manny? No, I'm great. So for me, I just think that um, it's about putting your money where it's going to work, you know, have the most impact. And when we talk about the most impact, we talk about society, we talk about energy, you know, so I would like to also say that I think that you talked about profit, if mm. it's profitable or not. I will say in most cases, it doesn't have to be profitable because if it actually has to be um, beneficial to the society, we can't always think about profit. Mm. So I would like to add that non-profit organizations can also profit from, you know, from this impact of impact investment. Okay. So, so I would say that mm. my non-profit organization um, would make a great impact in the society, mm. but might not necessarily bring forth a profit. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that's why we are here to learn from the experts. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Elmerikia has over 22 years experience working in the development sector as an impact investor, donor, philanthropic advisor, and social entrepreneur. In 2020, she was listed as one of the 50 most influential women in the development sector in Africa. She is on the first national advisory board on impact investing in nigeria where she is the gender lead she is a co-founder and the managing partner of smeng and she's joined us live in studio might i add she was our very very first guest yeah. on the show yeah. <laughs> and she has watched us grow <laughs> thank you so much Thelma Ikea, for joining us Excellent. it's such an honor to have you it is after good to such be a back. long time <laughs> good to be back and it's good to be back seeing you doing bigger and better. Oh, thank so, you so much, Thelma. Yeah. You look amazing, by the way. Uh, thank you. Yes. I should thank your people, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, I mean, I mean, you heard our little banter on the conversation mm -hmm. on impact investment, right? The reason, let me just put a bit of background as to why I thought it was important for us to have this topic. Um, Nigeria is in their need right now. There's a lot that can happen if we have some form of targeted investment mm -hmm. to transform this nation. And most times people, when they think national transformation or nation building, they do not look too much around investment. They look for more towards governance. That's I'm talking about the general populace. Mm -hmm. They are focused on governance. They are focused on mm -hmm. politics. They are focused mm -hmm. on all of those things. But there are silent builders of nation. And I believe that those are the people that put their money, you know, to build that nation. So maybe you should help us understand it, first mm -hmm. of all. You know, when we talk about impact investment, what exactly is it, and how can it really transform a nation? Thanks so much, Uwa. I, listening to the conversation about what impact investment is, I just thought this is not just happening here. It, the question of what is impact investment and what is not impact investment is a global one. And so let me be clear simply. Impact investment is intentionally making an investment to yield social, environmental and financial returns. And there are four instructive words there. Intentional, so there must be intentionality in the investment. Mm -hmm. There must be returns that are social. There must be returns that are or environmental. And it, there must be financial returns. Must be financial. Yes, it is not impact investing if 
any of these pillars are missing. Mm -hmm. It is something else. So as I was introduced for the bulk of my career, I've worked in the development sector as a donor. So I came back to Nigeria to establish the Tiwa Danjuma Foundation as the first CEO, and we were giving out grants. Uh, but it wasn't impact investing mm -hmm. because we weren't interested in returns at all. We were just, as one of you said, we were just, we were just, uh, it was a non-profit, but we were really interested in making a difference. That was what the founder wanted to do. But that's not what I do today. Today I'm an impact investor. I run a, a, um, an impact investment firm, and we are very much interested in financial returns. But we're not only interested in financial returns, there must be uh, social returns and environmental. And for you, in, impact investing is a defined industry now. It's grown really, really fast. Last year it was 712 billion globally, okay? Um, the numbers for Africa are increasing all the time. Uh, but for it to be an industry, everybody must speak the same language. So you can't go to uh, say you want to operate on somebody in a hospital and you say, I was a carpenter yesterday. Mm. You know, they will kick you out of the hospital, right? Yeah. So you can't just come and say you're doing impact investing and you don't have the tools for it. And so, so that there is professionalism and so that the field is more successful, there are parameters that everyone that is in the space must have. So one of the key parameters is being able to measure mm. if something has impact. Mm. It must be measurable. And so, and so there, there are all sorts of indicators that have been developed so that we are using the same measurement tools. Uh, and so this question about measurement is often where impact investment is very challenging because impact takes a long time. Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about impact, are you measuring over a year, three years? And when you're talking about money and investors, investors want their money back. Mm -hmm. So you're looking. So where you were, kind of, I knew where you were heading to, to say it mustn't always be financial. What we say in impact investment is the returns, is it below market rate, at market rate, or higher than market rate. So there are three levels. Whichever form the returns are, there must be returns. returns. Yeah, so if you say below market rate, because maybe you're not so much, you're not interested in making a lot of money, you know, it's, you would go for below market rate, right? Um, but it's not true that impact investing is not always profitable. In fact, we argue, those of us that are doing impact investing, that it can be extremely profitable um, and it is, so that's what we're doing with the National Advisory Board on Impact Investing. I can talk about that some yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, I hear you and I think um, I'm learning. I'm learning because I didn't think that as long as it had to do with impact and society, mm -hmm. it had to also do with profit. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very, very passionate about, you know, impacting the society. So now if I, if I get you very clearly, the way I look at it, I run the prison ministry. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that what I'm doing is making a huge impact in yeah. society because I, I take care of these people mm -hmm. when they're inside and I take care of them when they come out. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I know that they have to come out and you know be well integrated into society. So I think I'm making an impact. But if I understand what you're saying very clearly, I would say that if I wanted to do this in a way that would be intentional, um, social, Profitable. environmental and profitable and I, financial returns so yes profit is yes, another thing profit at the end okay. of the day so no I, no no profit, profit is a whole is other thing from financial returns financial, financial returns is different from profit yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> interesting <laughs> but now that's yes. interesting so yes. i would say that maybe i would create you know there was a time we're talking about all these things we can create for these people like open different types of schools vocational, vocational schools course. so i would say that if i want to convert mine into an impact business i can say that i can create different things for these people you know that i you know take care of so that when they come out they're learning a skill or so and then i'm making money from what they are doing so 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 first of all well done with what you've described that you're doing it sounds Thank great you. it's making an impact yeah but it doesn't mean it's impact investing yeah, okay, so you can make an impact without it being impact invested. I also have a foundation, right? My foundation supports women and girls, and it's not impact investing. I'm very clear that with my foundation, I'm not particular about financial returns. I just want to make a difference, yeah? yeah? So you can delineate between those two. Uh, but 
it doesn't mean that because you have finance, and that is a really, really important point that waters down the conversation around impact investing because mm. people feel like, well, if you're making money, can you really be making impact? Yeah. Mm. And that's exactly. not fair. That's not because fair. let me tell you what the financial returns component does for you. It helps to increase your pot of money so that you can do more. Do more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? And if you really want to make sure impact investment lasts, you need to bring in a lot of the big players, the banks, the, 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 the typical uh, financial institutions, uh, and other private sector companies. They won't get involved if there are no financial returns. Mm. You know, they don't want... So a lot of what you and I are talking about can either be charity or philanthropy. Yeah, so that's that's different. vastly that's different. different. Philanthropies do impact investing. But impact investing is not necessarily philanthropy. Yeah. I think that already answers my question because I was going to say that I know there's such, there's such a thing as SRI, that's um, social yes. responsible investing. Yes. So is that different from impact investing? Yes. 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 Right. Yes. So okay. It's different, and um, you know, it's, it's social responsible investing, impact investing, uh, social investing on its mm -hmm. own. They are all different types of investing, and all of them have their place, mm -hmm. including yeah. philanthropy. So philanthropy now, there's venture philanthropy, you know, so all of them have their place. But impact investing and this whole field, because the question is the role of impact investing in nation, nation building. building. Yes. And I think that's a really, really important one. one. Absolutely. And yes. I, was, I, was, I was going to bring us back there, but let's quickly go on a very <laughs> short break. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we're discussing the role of impact investment towards nation building. And we have with us Ms. Thelma Ikeo. Now remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Africa one with the hashtag Show. So I'm happy that you, you, you tried to, to, to bring us back to the conversation. And that's where I really wanted to, um, to start my next question. I see the federal government doing a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. They give all these 5,000 5, naira to mm -hmm. market women and all of that. It hasn't done so much, right? If you were to give some form of counsel based on your experience, mm -hmm. because you've done a lot of work in the philanthropy space, and you're seeing the difference now, shifting towards um, moving towards mm -hmm. um, impact yes. as an uh, impact investor, you're seeing the difference and the real impact it has compared to the time you just give people, you know, handouts. money and hand, handouts. Thank yeah. you. So can you help us break it down, right? Does this really help to transform the nation? And if it's true that it does, how should the government begin to approach some of these programs mm. that they try to put out for market women, mm. all these things that they do, mm. and you just see them doing handouts all the time? Because mm. it seems not to be working. Because mm. they always go back and they come back again for another sewing machine. Mm. Like that, you go and they say they're doing impact. Yeah. No, I think, I think, and that's a really important question, Noah, because I think what we, in a country like Nigeria, which is what we're talking about, everything has its place. Mm -hmm. If you are giving um, sewing machines and all of that, that has its place. Those are palliatives, right? Those are just supposed to solve an immediate need. It's not about long term. Impact investing, by its very nature, takes a long term view, right? It's, it's investing intentionally to bring about an impact in the social well being of, of, of whatever is the target group or an environmental uh, impact. All of those things have long term and have financial returns. So in terms of what should the government do, uh, like, you, like when you introduced me, you said I'm part of the National Advisory Board on Impact Investing. This is a board that's made up of people who had different sectors. So you have our chairman is, um, is uh, Ibukuma Oshika, the former chairperson of First Bank. Mm. You have um, Lamido Sanisi, his... his uh, his emir, the eminent, the, his eminence, the emir of, former emir of Kanu. Yeah. You have Tu Insani, you have myself, you have the MD of um, um, Sterling Bank, all people that head different things. Mm -hmm. You have Lagos Business School, well on the board. Yeah. And the board is committed to raising $1 billion for Nigeria, for impact investing. And the idea is that if we intentionally, once again, make targeted long-term investment, substantial investment into certain sectors in Nigeria, it will significantly 
alter the trajectory of those sectors and go to your point on help with nation building mm. because the government cannot do it either. It was never the role of government to invest. The role of government yeah. is to create a conducive environment. Yes. Mm. Yes. The problem is government gets into what the private sector should do, okay. right? All of these people or everybody on that board has done, we were selected, you know, it wasn't like my friend, my friend. We were selected and we Based were vetted the, impact. the work that you do. Hmm. And then we were vetted by a global board because there's the Global Steering Committee on Impact Investing. And what they do is they go to each country, they look for people who have done well in their sector and done well in, in, in this in particular area that they bring all of them together to form the national board. And so now we're, we're floating this wholesale fund, uh, wholesale impact investment fund. But what is critical is we also know we can't do it alone. So we've gone to the government, the Ministry of Finance, we've gone to the presidency, and all of them are so happy we're doing it because they know, as you said, the palliatives are not long-term. Yes. We all have to take a long-term view. But you see, even with $1 billion as big as it sounds, in Nigeria, yeah, it's, it's a drop in the bucket. Mm. Yeah. So that's why, because people, I, I meet people who say, why are you guys only doing uh, two sectors? What sectors are you doing? So we're doing health and uh, agriculture, mm. right? And to some extent, we will look at other projects. But if we believe that if we focus yeah, on these do this and, and do it move. deeply, this question of impact. Mm. Yeah. We felt yeah. Across. And it's, so that's how okay. It works. So let me quickly ask you a question. Yeah. You've talked about um, impact investment being long term. Mm -hmm. So, and then you're trying to raise a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And you also said that the government can really, it's not the government's place to help. To but do then again, you guys have gone to the government. Yes. So, how do you source for funds from individuals, from businessmen, from companies, you know, big <laughs> organizations? What's your pitch? How do you do this? Since it's going to be long term, how do you so even it, calculate? You know, the rate you are, of in fact, we should invite you to the board because, <laughs> yes. you know, the thing about it is that we looked at models that have worked across the world. Remember, I said it's not a, only a Nigeria thing, you're part of a global movement. And where this has been done very successfully is the UK, right? The UK yes. did a wholesale impact investment fund, mm -hmm. and the government gave 80% of the seed capital. Yes, it's yes, it's hmm. of the seed capital, much. because back to Uwa's title, which is really very, uh, I feel very, building. it's about building your nation. Right. So if you're going to be doing serious investment, the government should be a partner. Mm. Yes. And we're very happy that the Minister of Finance and the Minister of State for Finance and other uh, leaders see the importance and are looking for ways that the government can contribute. Well, the government of Nigeria may not be able to do the 80% that yeah. has been done in the UK, but you cannot float something like this for an entire country mm. and not have the government be a participant. Yes. Yes. Because guess what? The question you asked about how do you raise funds, when you then go and meet other people, why should they listen to you if your own government is not, even seen is not as interested? Important enough. So it is actually a validation of, of impact investing if the Nigerian government is seen to have contributed. Mm. We don't know the yes. percentages that yes. they're going to be able to do now, but, but the Nigerian money must be in the fund. Yes. yes, I like that. That's it. Mm. I like that. So how do you calculate these profits? So, so it, you're using profit, you money, 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 yeah. Financial returns. Mm, yeah. Financial. So what we're going to do, and, and it has been approved, is we're not managing the money ourselves. Because I can imagine mm. if I manage the money, they'll say I gave Uwa, Uwa is my friend. Yeah. You know, those kind of things yeah. will happen. Yeah. So what the board is, has put something in place. I'm on the committee for raising the fund. And um, we're going to outsource it to an independent fund manager. Mm. And that fund manager... Properly vetted, we will yes. bring our international partners. Properly vetted, we'll manage the fund. And the role of the fund manager is to do what? Make sure that there are social returns, environmental returns, but financial returns. The fund must bring back mm. financial returns. And you're going to be hearing a lot about it very soon. Mm. So, Thelma, yes. because we wow. will be talking and we'll forget so. that time is running, I just wanted <laughs> to quickly ask, right? This is a fantastic initiative, mm. and I can only see that, you know, if, it, if we're able to really get the buy-in and the sign-offs from government, it will go a long way mm -hmm. to change a lot of things that, you yeah. know, we're struggling with in the country. Absolutely. What then happens with 
the issue that we have with government transitioning, like there's no continuity. How would we um, find a way to make sure that with every government, they understand and they, they get the vision? Because it's one thing for this current minister for finance to get it. Another one mm -hmm. that comes now that says, I don't understand That's what you're saying. It then just completely makes a mess of yes. it. Right? Yeah. So how are we looking into that to ensure that it stays relevant across any government? So even within the government, and you guys are asking really brilliant questions, because even within the government, they form this multi-sectoral uh, group, getting different players from the different ministries. Because if it's for a home country, you know what the, the way even not just nigeria if you design something in 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 silos when you now want to implement it different people can come and just completely discredit it mm. so what we've done is you know um antoine san is our chair for the committee for the fundraising committee is make sure that the there's input from different parts of government so that this issue will not arise mm. but what i i think the why we will be successful at this by god's grace i must say is that none of the people involved in it are in government, in government. Hmm. and these are all people that selfishly guard their reputation hmm. right so and are all people that have proven track records of success in whatever they've done and they've all put their names on this to say we want to do it so that is that is where, the, and, and you, know, you, you know, there are two ways to do things in Nigeria, yeah. right? You either say, this is Nigeria, it will never work. Mm -hmm. Or you say, I don't want to be part of the complaining crowd. Let I me be part of the people it. providing yeah. solutions. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I built a business here. So yeah. we've done things that people a few years Thought ago told possible. me would never work. And we have proven that it can work. And so that's the attitude we've just taken with this, that why complain? Let's create a solution, mm -hmm. and this is a massive solution that will make impact. So we're, we're looking at the agricultural sector and the healthcare sector. Yes, yes. and there might be other considerations, but that's... That's the yeah. focus. Yeah. Okay, Manu, you have some comments. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, had, you had a question? Yeah, I, I just want to say, you know, you said something now. You said, um, thankfully, nobody in, um, on your board is in government. As good as that sounds, I think it also doesn't sound so good. You know why? Because... Who asks the question that has um, its basis on policies? Someone can come and tomorrow mm -hmm. totally yeah. destroy what it is mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. building. So I think it would be very important to actually have people in the government that are backing this up. Oh, they're backing it, but they're not on the board. I've just said okay. we're working with okay. Minister okay. of Finance, we're working okay. with Minister of State for Finance and other people. Um, you know, um, just, uh, former Justice Wise, who is a special advisor oh, on... So we, we, Mariam Wise, so we have different people that are supporters of this right mm -hmm. but we can't have them on the board because tomorrow if, what if there's no apc and you're trying to do yeah, this right so you, you, you that is what normally kills yeah, initiatives business. like this across africa absolutely wow. yeah let's take some comments quickly mm -hmm. okay, okay okay so the common mistake we newbies make is venturing into the market without help and legit guidance from a professional body mm -hmm. so impact investment towards nation building can be achieved with great minds that are business minded government can only create a level playing ground and a platform for investment to thrive great topic bobby kennedy jalingo tarabaste thank you bobby kennedy thank he's you. a very good one yeah yeah, yeah. very good one Okay, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Impact investment towards nation building. Your guest made a point that is very important. Palliatives are meant for short-term business in investments. Can I ask a question? Can the government provide long-term investment for people who cannot afford it? For long-term investment and establishments? And then goes ahead to say, Sister Uwa and Mani Money, you ladies look beautiful and lovely. My name is Daniel Ilo, Ways Regular Daniel. Fan. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank Daniel. you, Daniel. So that question he asked, do you think, uh, what, what when he it? said that, can the government, government provide long-term investment for people who cannot afford it? So people who cannot afford it kills the whole mm -hmm. Kills yeah. the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because you see, the thing is, look, business is business is business. 
and that's what I say. Nobody goes into business to lose There's money. There's no emotions to yes. this thing. I'm so, I'm, my eyes are red. I like the way you are. You know, yeah. When it comes and, and, to... And the truth is, yeah. it has everything to do with skill, management, mm. accountability. When so you're talking about factors. business, yes. if you're not talking about business, mm. like I'm different with my foundation. I'm, yes. You know, because my More. eyes are not as red. Yeah. Because I'm not looking... But look, when it's business, business. it's business, Red it's business. Activated. And yeah, and you just know <laughs> that you're putting so much into it. And, you want to and get one of the so deliverables much. of putting so much into anything is financial returns. And mm. I tell people, the quickest way to kill your passion is to be broke. Mm. Whoa. So, oh, word. Hey. Word. <laughs> tell tweet, me about it. Tweet. Tweet. <laughs> the quickest way to kill your passion <laughs> is to be <laughs> broke. Oh. But you see, Thelma, you know, that's why I love you. you know? <laughs> I was going to say that um, part of what I noticed, especially with some of the funds that the government had handed over in the past, people just believe that if it is the government that is giving a fund, mm -hmm. it's free money. It's their own money. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So how would you, because if you say that the government would give a huge chunk of the finance. It means they want to hit to you guys, money. right? Interesting. How do you fight that narrative yeah. to ensure that these people are accountable to bring back those financial returns, mm -hmm. and also not just the financial returns that they are more responsible with the funds, and the government also does not influence, because some government officials will now start to tell, tell you, you that to spend the money this is the person you must invest in. Yes. So how do you fight that? The, the, the thing? same way that Development Bank of Nigeria. Hmm. was set up by the government. But nobody can tell the Development Bank of Nigeria who to give money to. Hmm. You know? Really? No, they cannot. Hmm. Bank of Industry. Hmm. Right? You can't just say, it's our money. Yeah, give us the bank. Yeah. They'll, they'll walk you out so of the place. You know? put in place. Of course. And I think, you know, saying that the government is going to invest, the Nigerian government is the biggest shareholder in the Bank of Industry. Hmm. Yes. Right? That's why it's called that. So we, I think we have different ways that we, yes, you are right, that people think Government free money. free money, mm -hmm. right? And we're very clear that that's not us. So it's cool. also how you portray, yourself. portray and position yourself. Yes. It's called an impact investment wholesale fund. The words speak for themselves. It is investing. So somebody is watching now and somebody wants to access that because the goal for this whole conversation yes. is that public people, awareness yeah. public awareness and people must also understand that these things are available yes. Yes. because the goal is to transform businesses yes. right absolutely yes. scale up your people business trying, take you to the next level and not, and people are in their need of that absolutely. so how do they begin to you know to so look out for those funds i think that is really the most important question we will do road shows okay because mm -hmm. we know the buying and we'll probably come back here i'll probably try and get the whole board thank you um we know the buying of the public is critical whenever you say something is for the whole of nigeria mm -hmm. every nigerian will say uh, where's my own how am i reflected oh, sure. here mm. <laughs> so the road show is going to come um but you see once we once we um give it to the fund manager, which I talked about, the independent yes. fund manager, that becomes their job. Mm. Not the marketing, Look you know, but this. we will just make sure the fund manager does not run away with our money. Mm. And, you know, we are making sure that the vision is what everyone adheres to. And so, yeah, you know, you can't do something for a country without PR, marketing, uh, you know, the branding of it, all and of that. And Nigerians will go trust it. you guys with this to say, maybe finally a solution will come for the growth of my business. I can tell you this, right? Because we're not getting paid. Mm. That's the most important thing I have to say about this. There's no payment to anybody on this board. Okay. You are chosen because of the work that you do. And you had yes. the option to say no. And everybody on the board said yes. Mm. Okay? So if you're not getting paid and you've put your reputation on the line, the one thing you have to back. safeguard mm. is your reputation. Absolutely. Mm. And that is what makes us work. We work, we work, it's constant. There's a meeting, let's do this, let's do that, let, you know. And there's a lot of behind the scenes commitment that goes into something like this. If we were getting paid, then you would say to us, you guys are putting the money, you're putting the time because look at the big oh, money yeah. you are making. Okay. But that's not the case here. Absolutely. 
I think we can wrap Amazing. it up there. Thank you so much. You see why we so why we have some silent people that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hold close to us. But thank Amazing. you so much, Thelma. Great to be here. I love every minute I spent with you today, yes. and I know that this would definitely impact and transform our nation. Thank you so much, Nello. Thank, thank you, you Manny. Thank you. Now, before proud we, of you. thank you, Mama. <laughs> before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagrams at Way Show Africa. TikTok everywhere, just follow us everywhere. Interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed today's quote, here it is again. Rather, the goal is that at the conclusion of our lives, each of us can look back on the path we took and say not that we contributed to the creation of our small part, but that we worked together, building on our relative strengths to create a greater, more sustainable whole. I think that's the whole goal of all of this, to come together and partner to build a nation. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>